Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today to start my swatch off video. So if you've been watching my Project Apocalypse series, which has been going on for a year and a half, you'll know that what I did was I went through almost my entire lip collection and tested everything out and decluttered it as I go. And then what I wanted to do at the end is take similar products or similar shades or similar formulas and compare them to see if I have a lot of redundancies, do I need to keep them all? So my plan was to put up like three videos in a row and just get it all done. Um, but I feel like it's gonna take a lot longer than that. So what I might try to do is put up like one video every two weeks. Um, but so far I've only filmed one. So that's, that's all I've done. And um, that's what I'm talking about today. So what I decided to start with was one of my smallest categories, believe it or not. Um, it was actually nudes that are non-matte nudes. So I split all my nude lip products into matte finish and non-matte finish. So I'm tackling the non-matte finish ones today. They include lip glosses, lip treatments, lip oils, lip balms, um, you know, lip gloss, did I say lip glosses already? I'm not sure. Um, lipsticks, but everything that has a more of a creamy finish or a glossy finish. Um, the mattes was a much bigger, bigger category, so I'll tackle that <laughs> maybe next time. Um, but that's what I'm doing today. These also take a surprisingly long amount of time to film. So um, I did film this and it was starting to get a bit dark. So towards the end of this video, the lighting might not be the best but I will attempt to start these earlier in the day um, because I didn't expect how many hours these actually take to film each. So yeah, a much bigger process than I thought, um, but let's get on to swatches of my non-matte nudes and we'll see which ones I keep and which ones I get rid of. All right, let's start this swatching session. This category is sort of the nude glossy category. Um, I've broken it down into five areas and I'm going to swatch them all in comparison to each other. So like these will be swatched together, these will be swatched together and so forth. Um, this first category is clear lip glosses, lip balms, um, lip treatments, and it goes from clear through to shimmery. Um, through to quite shimmery. These are like the Jouer lip toppers that are quite shimmery. Uh, we've got some Fenty gloss bombs here. These have some shine to them. So this is the sort of clear and shimmery. Over here is a similar kind of concept. These are lip balms, lip treatments, lip oils, but these are more um, non-shimmery versions. So they've got a color, a tint color to them. Um, and all of them obviously are nude because this is going to be a nude video, but these don't have shimmer. Over here is more of the tinted balms or very glossy lipsticks that are sheer. So I've got some Linda Hallberg um, Fantastic lipsticks, which are sheer and obviously nude. Uh, just a tint from Colourpop, some Pat McGrath. Uh, I've got some MAC lipsticks back here, um, but these are more of a shinier formula, not super pigmented. So I thought I'd put that in that sort of category. Then over here, I've got lip glosses that are more pigmented than these ones over here. So um, these are supposed to have a bit more color to them from memory. Um, so I'll swatch all these together. Then the last group over here is lipsticks. Um, all of these are obviously more pigmented than these sort of balmy products here. Um, but these all have a non-matte finish. Some of them like hourglass ones they might settle down to a bit of a matte but they're quite creamy and they have a bit of a shine to them so these are the non-matte nude lipsticks the matte nude lipsticks i've got <laughs> so many of there'll be in an upcoming video um, but these are the sort of hydrating versions i suppose all right let's start with the clear glosses this is from ulta 3 it's a very affordable brand in australia also ignore this i had a blood test this morning and i have a tape allergy so Fun times. From memory, this was super shiny and really nice uh, on the lips, but it also, was it like chemically tasting? Um, it was, a it's a very, very fragrance, but it's a nice gloss. Like it's a nice, I'm going to put a little bit on. Then I've got the M Cosmetics Clear Gloss. This is in the shade Morning Dew. I will list all the full names of these products in the description box. I just don't want to spend half the video saying the full name. Um, so in order of me talking about them, I will put them in the description box. This is a thicker gloss. It's obviously uh, quite shiny and it's very clear, just like the last one. The last one had more of a strawberry scent to it. This has more of like a caramelly sort of 
yeah, caramely scent to it. Okay, I've just applied the M Cosmetics one to my lips and to be fair, it's a little bit thicker. This feels a little bit more slippery, like almost like a lip oil. Um, but this one I think will last longer and also it doesn't have like that chemical taste to it from the fragrance. I don't need two clear lip glosses. I don't use them that often. So I think the Ulta 3 one's gonna go. So both of these are nice. There's nothing wrong with either one of them. I think I just prefer the sort of, um, I think the experience of the M Cosmetics one, but um, just at the start of this video, all these products are gonna be nice. I've spent the last year and a half lip testing them, deciding if I wanna keep them, and these are the ones that made the cut. So obviously these aren't bad, it's just about redundancy here. All right, on to two lip treatments. One is from Sigma, one is from Burt's Bees. Again, the full names will be in the description box. This one has a nice applicator to it if you like that kind of thing. Whoa, it has changed color. That is yellow. Was that always supposed to be yellow or was that clear? This something's funny. Something funny has happened to this, I reckon. Then I've got the Burt's Bees. This one has a beautiful passion fruit scent to it. This is a lip oil. So it's like a thinner lip gloss with oils in it. And it smells so nice. It's like someone's just got some passion fruit juice and squirted it in my nose and I'm here for it. I'm not gonna do a 50-50 split the whole way through this, but obviously these are very redundant. And I'm just gonna say, if anything starts to change color, change scent, change texture, change the look of it, it is starting to go bad. And that yellow here, I recall this being clear. I'm going to say that this is possibly turning and I'm going to get rid of it. So by default, Burt's Bees wins, which is not a bad thing because passion fruit is yum yum. All right, onto some subtle shimmery lip balm glossy treatment products. Um, another one from Sigma. This has always been this sort of peachy color, so there's nothing wrong with that. But you can see it does have shine in it. It's quite pretty in the tube. Uh, again, this applies sort of clear, even though it's got that orangey sort of color to it. And the shimmer just gives it a bit more shine. Um, so it's nice. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't seem like it's turned bad. Um, it's just a nice sort of hydrating lip gloss. This is something I could easily pan. So I'll put that to the side for now. Um, Kevin Aquan, I've got two little mini uh, glass glow lips is what they're called. And I've got the shade Gold Beam and Prism Rose. I believe Gold Beam was just a limited edition in a mini pack for Christmas. Whereas Prism Rose is um, one that's available permanently full size. Uh, so this gold one is just a clear gloss. Um, it's a lot thicker than the last one. I suppose that's because that's more of a lip treatment. Um, but again, very, very sheer. And it, the gold just gives it a little bit of a shine. Prism Rose, I love this one. This one's actually really, really gorgeous. It's got a bit of color to it, a bit of... Um, almost like a, instead of it being sparkly, it's got a bit of a more like pearly sheen to it. Uh, this is gorgeous on the lips. I can tell you that. And these tiny tubes, again, really great to use up or just put in your travel makeup bag or your handbag. Um, and then the ultraviolet sheen screen in the shade Shimmer. So this is a clear lip balm. So these are more glosses. This is more of a lip balm. And it's also got SPF 50, which is good. It's currently winter. This is quite thick and it is <laughs> quite cold. So <laughs> it's going to be, yeah, thicker than normal. All right. So this is quite different to the last one. So you can see it's not as glossy. It's more balmy and it does have like a shine to it. Um, but it's again, not sparkle. It's more of a just a beautiful sort of iridescent. So it gives the lips a little bit of shine, but it's not too frosty. All right, I'm gonna give a bit of a close up just so we can see what we're dealing with. Um, so we've decided on those four already. So let's get over here. I'm gonna say that, look, I'm gonna keep the balm because that's really practical on a daily basis, especially in summer with the SPF. Um, Prism Rose, I love. I know that for a fact it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous on the lips. Um, I don't think I need both of these. So that one and that one, they're both sort of very sheer glosses that have a little bit of sparkle in them that just add to the shine. I'm gonna say that I prefer 
one that doesn't look so chunky glittery on the lips. So I think I'm going to keep that one and do I pan that one? Oh, it's so hard. I'm going to put that in the question mark panning pile because it's nice. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fairly new, but like I don't really need it. So I'm going to put that aside. All right. On to these, which are the shimmery lip glosses. So even more shimmery than what we've already looked at. So we do have one here from Pixie. This is a, from a Chloe Morello collection. This one has a really cool sort of um, multi-chrome look to it. It doesn't look like, look like that on the lips, but it almost looks copper to gold to green. It's pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to swatch that alongside for now these. So we've got um, Sigma. This is the Cinderella lip gloss in the shade Magical. And then I've got two Jouer lip toppers. The champagne shade is Skinny Dip. And this sort of um, pink to gold shifting shade. So hopefully you can see that there's, I don't know, reflex gold anyway. Hopefully you can see there. Uh, this is the shade Beach Days. All right, this Pixie Chloe Morello one, you can see it's quite shimmery compared to the other ones. Maybe not, because you're not in focus. All right, hopefully you can see it a bit better now. Um, this has a beautiful shine to it. And I don't like the scent of it. It's like this fake orange scent but it is very very pretty you can see it's a lot more shimmery than the last ones we spoke about but there you go gorgeous cinderella has this almost like blue brown sort of shimmer to it which is really interesting so it's, yeah it looks looks really pretty it has no scent which is handy so hopefully you can see with this one it's a lot more sort of beige tone whereas this is almost orangey peach and when it catches a light it does have a coolness to it I think these are both really pretty. Skinny Dip by Jouer. This is another level of shimmer. This is actually a really beautiful color. It'd be nice as a liquid highlighter. And Beach Days is almost like the Chloe Morello one, but just on steroids. This is crazy. The cool thing about these two, though, is you can actually layer them over liquid lipsticks to add a bit of shine to the lip. I think these are all very different. I just need to decide if I need all four. All right, so these are obviously different enough. Um, I just did a quick lip swatch and I like them all. This one has a horrible chalk orange scent, which I do not like. And I think I'd probably try to pan this in the future, but that sort of orangey, goldy, rosy tone is actually really flattering as a shimmery lip gloss, like a sparkly lip gloss. It just sort of, I don't know, enhances your natural lip color and um, it's nice and thin and comfortable. So this is definitely something I can pan. Um, I love this. I think this is probably the nicest formula out of the four. Um, and the color is this beautiful sort of mauvey shimmer and it sort of doesn't look sparkly on the lips. It just looks really shiny. So I'm going to keep that. These two are extreme. I currently have this on my lips and I would show you but I'm not wearing any makeup and I look horrible so hopefully I'll take a video while I'm editing this of me wearing this and show you what it looks like it is stunning will I wear it every day hell no but it is stunning this is really frosty on the lips but it is also really pretty to add a bit of a shimmer to like a matte liquid lipstick or something so these are all unique enough in my opinion to keep and even though they're not like these aren't everyday things I think they're kind of fun and they're pretty. So these are surviving for now. All right, let's talk about the shimmery lip glosses I have left. I have one from MAC. This is from the Patrick Star collection. Um, and I have two Fenty. This is Sweet Mouth and this is Fenty Glow, which is like the original shade. Let's have a bit of a swatcheroo. I much prefer, to be honest, I much prefer sort of a cream or a um, slightly tinted lip gloss that isn't too shimmery, but you know, it is, I, I can, I can use them if they're pretty. This looks to me to be a lot stickier just from swatching and also from memory, um, a lot stickier than the other ones I've been swatching. And I, I don't love that. So I might have a quick lip swatch of that in a second. These are the Fenty ones. This has a nice strawberry scent to it and it's almost clear um, it does have a slight milky pink color to it but nothing crazy uh oh my camera stopped 
Um, but I just swatched uh, Fenty Glow. It's a like it's a nice nude color. Um, it's got a bit of a sheen to it, so it looks shiny, healthy on the lips. I prefer this to this, in my opinion. I think this can look a little bit frosty and milky. Um, but again, these aren't dupes. They're, these are all different enough to keep. Um, but what I might do, quickly lip swatch these and have a decision. I might try to pan one of them. All right, I lip swatched both of these. I like them both. This is a little bit more wet feeling um, and it adds a really beautiful shine to the lips. It's not too light or milky on me. It almost looks like a clear with a little something something. Um, this one by MAC, which is in the shade, this is I think Mama Star Kiss. Uh, this one is a little bit frostier because it's a little bit more, um, the shimmer's a little bit more obvious, but and it's a little bit gluggier, but I still like it and looks really pretty. So I might actually try to pan this one um, because I've had it longer than that one. All right, on to tinted lip oil lip balm products. Um, there was a third one in this that I kept. It was like a mauvey shade. I'm currently panning that. I love it. I love it so much that I can tell you I am keeping these because I love them. The formula is beautiful. They make your lips super comfortable, look super lush. Um, so I will swatch these, but I will also keep these. So this is the Renew Lip Oil from Sigma and it's in the shade Tint. There we go, that's appropriate. I love these, these love, 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 love. This is the kind of thing I wear on a daily basis. It's gorgeous. The Movi one, I've nearly finished. I'm obsessed with, so that is definitely a keep. And then I also have the shade Tranquil, which is more of a pink. This to me is probably more of a spring summer shade, but this was really gorgeous on the lips. It's you, look, if I swatch this in store, I'd be like, that is too pink for me. Um, but it was actually really gorgeous on the lips. So those are very pretty. Um, so Juicy Plumping Gloss from Colourpop. This is in the shade. She's here. Um, I can tell you, I don't mind these. They have a very minty, almost like toothpaste-y um, sort of scent to them. It's a nice pinky peachy nude. Um, I don't mind it. Again, this is something that I could happily use on the daily. Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. This one's in the shade Bouncy Beige. Very similar color, but the consistency is very watery compared to um, the ColourPop one. So this was gorgeous on the lips. Really, really pretty, but it wears off faster because it's so sheer, um, or so thin, sorry, but the color is very, very similar to that one. Another ultraviolet lip balm. This is in the shade Nude. So the other one was a shimmer, like a clear with a bit of shimmer. This is no shimmer, but a bit of nude color. And these, you can tell, these are the colors I wear just when I'm grabbing something in the car and I feel like I need something on my lips. Um, this is such a practical lip product, love, love. Same goes for the Lips Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Nectar. I would actually, there's a nude one of these and I want to sort of use this up to get the nude one instead. Nectar is a little bit too pink for me, but um, again, really pretty. Adds just a little bit of rosiness to the lips and very, very moisturizing. So these are more glossy, oily. These are more balmy. Since these are sort of my everyday go-to lip products, I'm going to keep them all, but I'm going to put this ColourPop one in my panning pile because it's getting old. I don't like the scent of it. It smells like sort of stale toothpaste, um, but it's a pretty product, so I'm not going to just throw it out. Without removing these swatches, I'm going to start swatching the more pigmented lip glosses because if I'm starting to see a really repetitive shade, um, it might help me eliminate one of these. I feel like the last bunch that I, well, most of the last bunch that I reviewed here on my arms, these, okay, maybe besides the um, ColourPop one, which is this one here, they were lip oils or lip balms, like they're supposed to help your lips. These are color products. So I think I would probably choose Comfort and Lip Benefits over color. So if I've got too many of the same things, I, I might color them based on the last swatches as well. So let's start swatching these. I've got two by Terry Lip Expert Shines. So I've got one in Hot Bear and uh, Peachy Gilt. So one more of a purpley mauve and one peach. These smell so bad. These are, This is like grandma scent makeup. It's really floral, um, but again, very different to anything else on my arm. These definitely have more 
colour to them, Peachy Gilt. Starting to look a little bit similar in colour, but a lot more intensity and in pigment. All right, from NARS, these are Velvet Lip Glides, and these are sort of like velvet finish lip glosses they're not super shiny um the one in the smaller tube is camden girls which i love 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 that's such a good nude and the other one is xenon uh, it's one that i tried to buy to sort of dupe um this one which was limited edition in a holiday set and it's not quite the same but they're both pretty so let's go camden girls first seventh heaven all right this is gorgeous it's such a nice cool toned lip product um this is more mauvey this is more brown um and the finish is not as shiny hopefully you can see this one is a little bit more purpley it might be similar to that one it is it's quite similar to that one in color i've got two mac lip glasses this one i think is fashion punch and this one i think is cream pie um from memory, this one sometimes makes my teeth look a bit funny, like it looks a bit yellow because it's quite an orangey tone. And this one can look a little bit milky, so these ones might need an extra swatch off. Um, but I do like that tone. I think that tone's really pretty. I'll compare it to my coffee teeth in a second and see how it goes. It's a light, it's almost like a lighter version of the NARS one. These are thicker and stickier. NARS, oh, not NARS, sorry, MAC tend to do that with their lip glosses we can see they're nice and pigmented all right i've got this moonshot tint fit shine in the shade 505 now i hope this is not too berry for a nude video it might be yeah look this could have been in like the pink section but it's here now i hope that doesn't stain now interestingly the pat mcgrath lip glosses have settled in a funny way that doesn't mean they're necessarily bad as long as they sort of come together when I mix them but that is a bit gross especially for the price tag that comes with Pat McGrath. Let's have a bit of a swirl around if it doesn't come together these are going but I feel like they will I feel like they've just settled and separated a little bit. So I've got three they're all very similar one goes from sort of true nude to rosy nude to rosy I don't know they look very similar faux real flesh fantasy and wicked whisper is the shades of these all right so this one is quite similar to that mac one flesh fantasy is just your true sort of nude with a little bit of rosiness to it that's actually a little bit warmer like a bit more orangey toned compared to the, some of the other ones that I currently have on my arm. Uh, and then the last one, this one here, is a little bit more pink than that. But, you know, they look very similar. I'm going to swatch the last three in this category. I've got two from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this one is the shade Kirsten, and this one is in the shade Coffee, which is just a mini. Then I've got a House Labs lip gloss in the shade Attitude, which is getting deeper in colour. Now these Anastasia Beverly Hills ones are thick, like they're super pigmented. These could be considered like almost shiny liquid lipsticks. They're so pigmented. Okay, and House Labs is the last one, which is this sort of berry nude shade there. All right, I've just had to adjust the lighting because we're losing light fast, so I've got to make this quick. Um, I've identified a couple of similarities and I've done some lip swatching and I've decided to cull a few. So first I decided to swatch the By Terry Mauve one compared to the NARS Xenon one and then also to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I think that was Kirsten because that's also like a mauve sort of pinky shade. I have to say... Experience wise, I think this one is the least pleasant because of that horrible fragrance. It's like this really old Nana sort of um, floral fragrance. This one I think looks the nicest. It looks quite natural. It's not super shiny, but it's a nice amount of color. And this one's much shinier and much more pigmented. So they both look beautiful for different reasons. And this one is gonna go, so by Terry, 
um, is going to go in the go pile. Then I decided to swatch the Pat McGrath versus the Mac. So these two here, and I have to say, you can also see on the screen, this is a little bit more sort of orangey apricot pastel looking. It settles a little bit more into, into the lines of the lips and it can look a little bit less natural than this one. So I feel like this is just a more sort of flawless version of this. So this one's gonna go. That also made me swatch this one. So the one here from MAC, and this does look quite milky. And again, it can settle into the lines of the lips, not look as sort of flawless. It's a little bit high maintenance. So this one is also gonna go. I did swatch the House Labs and the Moonshot ones because they do look semi similar there. But as you can possibly see, one looks more cherry-like and one looks more sort of burgundy. So I think they are different enough and they're pretty enough. I think I might actually carry this one over to my color video and see if it's too similar to some pinks that I have because I feel like it's a little bit too pink for this particular video. Lastly, I did swatch the two Pat McGrath lip glosses that look very similar. So these two here. Um, and yeah, they're very similar, but I'm going to keep them both because these are sort of my standard lip gloss color that I go to all the time. And it's nice quality. It feels nice. It looks nice. Um, so I it's sort of like have one in your handbag, have, have one at your makeup table. Like, yeah, they're so similar that they're interchangeable but they're my sort of favorite type of lip gloss, so I'm not gonna get rid of them. All right, onto the bullet products. These are the sheer lipsticks, tinted lip balm type products, lip balms in tubes. Um, I know one of these is a clear, so it's like a clear balm. Um, so let's get onto swatching these. All right, let's start with some lip balms from Pat McGrath. This is the shade Noir. Even though it is black, it looks really cool, to be fair. It's a very cool looking, lip balm if we can get it up so it looks gray in the tube but realistically let's not swatch it fully out that is silly um realistically it's just gives a bit of a cool tone to the lips but it is technically sort of clear i also have a mini version of the clear so they do have a clear lip balm available that is white to be fair, I would not be spending Pat McGrath prices on a clear lip balm, but if you can afford that, you do you. This was in a mini pack. I'm going to say I'm putting this aside to pan because I don't need that. I will use it, but I do not need it. This is Linda Hallberg. I've got a few fantastic uh, lipsticks here. As you can see, this one's in the shade Extra, um, which I believe is a clear with some shimmer in it. Uh, yes, it is. Hopefully you can see a bit of the... Shimmer and shine, maybe not. All right, so um, I feel like this one shows up a bit better because of the shimmer. You can see it's actually got more shine to it. So I actually prefer this over that one anyway, but because it's little and because it's high end, I'm going to, I would otherwise get rid of it, uh, but I am going to keep it to pan. It's tiny. It'll probably take me like two weeks to pan. I'd prefer to keep this one because it just looks a little bit nicer. Got a couple other Pat McGrath lip balms. So I've got the shade Sex Sexy, which is the big one. And I've got the shade Blow Up, which is the little one. Nice nude color. Let's, oh, delicate, delicate. Nice basic rosy nude. Come on, Sex Sexy, give me something good. Looks very similar, very similar. One looks slightly less pink, one looks slightly more pink. Very similar. Fantastic lipsticks by Linda Hallberg again. I've got the shade Famous and Pink Opal. Famous is more brown, Pink Opal is more pink. I am obsessed with Pink Opal. I have another one in my handbag as we speak because it's my go-to on the run lip product. These are nice and thick. They've got SPF, they last a while. Um, they don't just wear off after a coffee. Um, I But this is like my lips but better shade. I would usually think I want to go for a more brownie tone but I find these sort of mauvey tone pinks are gorgeous on me and I love 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 so those are nice pretty next tinted lip balm is from Jouer this is in the shade Amaryllis um, and I believe this is a beautiful nude again something I would use on the daily so oh this is gorgeous it's buttery it's so buttery uh, this, again, is like my true nude. This is more of my pinky nude. 
This is a little bit 90s brown for me, but you can see they're all different. Benefit, this is the Nude Pink Moisturizing Lip Balm. Let's give it a swatcheroo down here. Whoa, way more pigmented, way more pigmented, way more pink. Before we get into the pigment zone, um, this is the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Balm in Gimme S'more, which is again, just your typical, probably, Look, it's actually quite different to the ones I have here. It's slightly more peachy than these guys here, uh, slightly less brown than that one there. This again is something I could so easily pan. I, I do enjoy this, it's very nice. M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Venetian Rose. This is a beautiful product. Um, you gotta click it up. It's very um, soft, very shiny, beautiful color. Oh. Love, love, love this color. Again, it's that sort of um, slightly mauvey, rosy shade. So maybe a little bit more richer than that. Um, gorge, gorge. I love this. It's been in my handbag a lot. ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Brat Pack. This is more of a brownie shade. Um, it looks like a typical... I've got so much lip balm on my... Um, um, it doesn't want to swatch properly. Um, this looks like a matte compared to the rest of the stuff I have, but I can assure you it is more of a shine on the lips and it's a beautiful brownie nude. I love, I love a lot of these. Nabla, this is a lipstick in the shade Metropolitan. I'll have the full name in the description box. This was one that I um, featured in my last update. And I love the color. I have been using it. I love the color. Again, it's that sort of brownie color similar to, what the heck was that, Jouer. It's got that brownie nude tone, but a little bit richer. Um, this is shiny, but not glossy. Um, my issue with it was that it smells like coconut, but I think it's gorgeous on the lips. And the last two, this one might be a bit too rosy for this video, but I'm gonna feature it anyway. It's the MAC Cream Sheen in Mystical, and this is a sort of purpley color. So it's definitely uh, sort of more in the sort of vibe of this one. And this last one, which is uh, Love Me Lipstick from MAC. Uh, I think it's the shade Laser Fair. Um, anyway, it is one that I didn't actually feature in my Project Apocalypse videos because I actually got it with my back to MAC when I took in stuff that I returned uh, from decluttering that, that, that month. Uh, so this is a nude, it's a shiny formula. It does have some mauve tones to it, um, but this is beautiful. It's a really nice um, sort of glossy, sort of semi sheer lipstick. I love those sort of mauve toned pinks. It's a little bit like that one there, which is my fantastic, but it's a little bit more pigmented. So I'm gonna have a quick look at these and see if there's anything I can declutter. All right, I'm just gonna take you over here to get a more accurate view um, because the lighting is starting to get quite shadowy. So are there some double up type products here? Sure, I think um, those two lip glosses here from uh, Pat McGrath, they look quite similar. I might pan the little one because even though I prefer that sort of slightly peachier shade, um, It'll be easier to pan. I also compared the Benefit lip product to the MAC one over here. They do look quite similar on the lips. Um, this is a little bit more pink and bright. This one has a little bit more of a sheer berry element going on. All right, so out of all of these, I'm going to pan the minis from Pat McGrath because they will be gone very quickly. Um, I'm also going to pan my ColourPop just a tint, it is nice, it's getting a bit old though, so panning it is. And I'm also gonna pan this Benefit one because it is similar to the MAC one. Um, and I, look, I the MAC one's really old, I should pan that one and back to MAC it, but I'm still very attached to this gorgeous uh, sort of water droplet packaging. I sort of don't want it to go yet, so I'm gonna hold on to that, but it's a beautiful sort of universal berry tint um, color. So these are the ones that I'm keeping in my collection I like them all and these are the things that I wear when I don't know what to wear. All right, the last swatchy bunch for today are the glossy creamy lipsticks. So these are all nudes again, because this is a nude video, um, minus matte nudes, that is 
for another day. Um, but these are all sort of creamy formula, shiny finish, um, non-matte essentially. I can already tell by looking at this that I like a lot of these. So um, we'll have a quick swatch and we'll see how we go. I might start with hourglass ones um, because I have a lot of them. All right, I've got the shade True Love Means, which is a pinky, looks very pink on camera. It's, it's a pinky nude. My One Desire is also a pinky nude. This one's Movia, which I like more. This one has started to change scent, so it's one that I should focus on using up. And those are refills, by the way. These are the packaging that you can refill. This is the shade You Are My. Uh, Backstreet Boys now stuck in my head. Uh, I like this. It's a little bit more brown toned, but it's still that sort of mauvey color. The ones that came in this pink packaging, limited edition, they've all sort of lost their scent and it's smelling like raw ingredients. So they're not as pleasant as the other ones, but they still apply beautifully if you can get over the scent. I may as well just swatch all the pink ones because I've mentioned that. Um, I woke up, this again, a pinky nude slightly maybe peachier than that first one if only oh now Hanson stuck in my head beautiful um similar to that one a little bit deeper in color this one in the gold packaging is called i want and this is more of a true nude that i'll go for so again a little bit of brownie tones to it this is another one of my one desire so it's the same as that one there but it doesn't smell bad so I know which one's going in my panning pile. Silver packaging, fancy. Uh, I've got the shade I Hope. This one's a bit lighter than that last one, but also like a true nude to me, so very pretty. I've got two with clear lids. This one is obviously I Cherish. I can see through it already. Um, and this is quite similar to that last one, but a little bit more terracotta tones. And this is I Wonder from that same holiday pack. This is a red. What is it doing in here? This is going into the red pile. So out of these, I'm going to be panning my One Desire, which is that Moby Tone one. Very pretty, but the scent has gone funny um, and I've got a double up. So that's going in the panning pile. I'm never throwing one of these out. They are such a lovely lip lipstick formula. So I'm, and there's not much in them. Like look how small they are. So I'm panning it. Let's talk about the Sigma, uh, what are these called? Infinity Point Lipsticks. These are messy. I love the formula. These are messy. They all get nicked. I don't know if you can see in the lid, but they all get like the tip of it gets nicked and it's just grubby, but the formula is gorge. I just think that they should make them in maybe smaller bullets, similar to Hourglass. Uh, this one's in Epiphany, which is this beautiful peachy pink nude. These are gorge. Deja Vu. Again, smudged tip. What's the point of an infinity tip if it's going to be smudged? Um, but again, beautiful, nice, creamy, pigmented. Um, I can see some similarities with my hourglass ones. Temptation is a deeper one, um, but also quite cool tone. So this could almost be like on me, it'd look more berry than it would nude then i've got my dreamy creamy lipsticks these are liquid lipsticks from nabla i love this formula it's gorgeous um hedonist is the first one i'll be swatching my rules then adam's dream so in that order this is a lot brownier uh than the rest that i've got here this is my rules it's a lot darker and cool toned it's sort of similar to that one there i might Get them to do a swatch off i know the finish is very different that's much shinier um but may as well do a swatch off and this one's adam's dream which again is a lot more orange toned compared to these sort of purpley pinky tones all right i've got another liquid lipstick from mark jacobs this is in the shade hot cocoa i feel like it's gonna be similar to these sort of colors so more brownie tone yep um but not quite the same this has more rosiness and that has more orange. Bobby Brown. This is a luxe liquid lip high shine in barely nude two. This is a very high gloss product, but it is a very similar color 
to the one next to it. My love, this is the shade Cat Lady by Lorac. Um, I love this shade, it's so good. Uh, I will pan this regardless of what happens. It's getting old, it's getting thick, but it is a beautiful color. Again, mauvey pink. There's a lot going on here, um, but it's such a flattering shade. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm going to pan this because it's old. But I love the color. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anita. Um, I feel like, again, it's that sort of purpley tone, similar to some of these other ones around there. Maybe a little bit more rosy. Natasha Denona, this is the I Need a Nude Lipstick in Noah. Um, and this is very brown toned compared to a lot of the other stuff I have going on here. So let's put it down there. I love that shade. That's gorgeous. That's more similar to that liquid lipstick, um, but obviously a different finish. Another Marc Jacobs. This is the lip cream, the Le Marc lip cream in No Angel. Similar effect, a little bit more rosy. Um, I might compare them on the lips. And lastly, I've got the Pat McGrath Luxe Trance Lipstick in Lust Angeles. So, oh, I'm just shaking everything. Um, that's beautiful. And that's more of a brownie tone as well. All right, welcome to my floor. Um, got my cardigan here. I'm trying to show the colors a little bit more accurately because they're looking very red and very bold on my pasty dead arm and also in this lighting. Um, but you can see that do have different finishes. I have spotted a few dupes and I've done like a lip swatch test. So I've done half on one lip and half on the other and I'll tell you what I think about them. Okay, the first similarities are with um, Nabla, Marc Jacobs and Natasha Denona. These are the more of the brownie nudes. I love brownie nudes. Now these two compared to each other, Natasha Denona has more of a cool tone to it. So there is like a sort of um, gray tone, which makes it a little bit more unique and interesting. This one from Marc Jacobs is just a little bit more standard. And this one from Nabla is a little bit more, I don't know if I can say brighter. There's something about it that's just kind of a little bit more fresh. I'm going to keep these two and I'm going to try to pan Marc Jacobs because again, it's a color I can use on a daily basis. Um, I just prefer these ones. All right, these three were also very similar. They're the sort of dark purpley tones. Now, look, this one is gorgeous. Uh, it's very pretty. It's probably the most nude out of the three. These are almost identical in shade, so I probably don't need them both. I do prefer a lipstick. This is creamy, pigmented, easy to apply. This is very glossy and gorgeous, but it needs to be blotted down because it's quite heavy on the lips. Now, when I did mention these in my last update, um, I did want to get rid of a few shades because I didn't need them all. So I feel like because I've got three that are similar, I'm going to get rid of the Nabla one. Okay, so through all of that swatching, I'm only getting rid of six dupes. So these are all things that I have already in my collection and these ones... I like the others better for whatever reason. So these are the ones I'm getting rid of. But then I have 10 additional products that I'm going to add into my project pan drawer. So these are products that in the next year or so I'm going to try to use up. So these were a bit repetitive, didn't really need them, but um, I feel like I can use them up before or at least try to use them up before I get rid of them. So what I'm planning on doing after every episode of this swatch off series is adding to this lipstick holder um, all the products that I'm decluttering so I can adjust my final tally um, with removing these. So that's the plan. I've only technically decluttered six in this video, but hopefully I'll be able to declutter a lot more in the upcoming videos. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.